our part of the world. It's been just over four months since Hurricane Harvey hit the coastal bend and debris is still being collected across the area. So we've seen some of the big piles, but have you wondered where does all that stuff end up? Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres is live off Highway 35 near Rockport to fill us in. Chelsea, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Well, if you've been driving to and from Rockport, then you've most likely seen this huge debris site right here in the middle of Highway 35. Now, this is still debris left over from Hurricane Harvey, but it's not just sitting here. There's actually a major operation underway to reduce and eliminate the mess. Hurricane Harvey left quite the mess, but with the constant help of the Texas A&M Forest Service, TxDOT, Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, and a few other state programs, this debris pickup will help relieve communities of those cleanup efforts. What we are burning is the natural vegetation, which are the trees, the tree limbs, the trunks, those things, and four boxes, which are called air curtain burners. They have forced air fans on them, so they burn very hot. They burn everything down to ash for the most part, and so we're trying to reduce the amount of debris that needs to be taken to the landfills. There are about four of these locations in Aransas County. TxDOT has brought debris from state highways and right-of-ways to these locations. It will be broken up and burned to ash or divided up into mulch. As of December 21st of 2017, over 43,000 cubic yards of debris has been burned. As for the construction debris with metals and household items, since they cannot be burned, another contractor will eventually come in to divide and reduce that debris as well. Our ultimate goal is, is to help make Aransas County their progress move forward. Now, of course, right now there is no timetable for when these programs will be done, but all of that ash from the debris that is burned turns into pot ash, which means that there's a lot of nutrients and you can mix it with the soil. So once these programs are done and the site is done with, they will redo all of this area, and months from now we won't even know that they were here. Reporting live from Highway 35, Chelsea Torres, Chris 6 News. All right, thank you, Chelsea.